In, it's trafficking. Yes. It's sex trafficking. Mm -hmm. And it's also involving leaders of uh, giant financial institutions, politicians, celebrities, scientists. I need to see that black book, that Epstein black book. Oh. You had Bill Clinton. You had Donald Trump. You had all these... Bill you know, Gates. billionaires, yeah, billionaires, They're celebrities. They're all lying. He was the CEO of Elite Sex Crimes Incorporated, and then he died in jail. Yeah, mysteriously. You see this video with Bill Gates recently. Y yes, I did. <laughs> I should have had dinners. With well, have you oh. seen Whitney Webb's take on Bill Gates's connection to Jeffrey Epstein? It goes way further. It goes his way wife, back. His yes. wife has blown the whistle on this and was like, "Yes, oh." Bill Gates is saying he just had a couple of dinners with him or whatever. Yes. His wife's like, let me tell you something. That's not true. Yeah. He was really close with him. Not just close with him, but went to the island. He he knew him very well. They they had all sorts of business dealings together for quite a long time. It goes way back. You know, he knew him. Uh, he knew him early on. Like Whitney Webb was like, she was on uh, Russell Brand's show recently and she went into great detail. She's fascinating. Like, she can pull up data and information off the top of her head. She's, like, such a good researcher. But just absolute facts about this the connection between the Gates and him. Yeah, it's a lot of a very lot. famous, very wealthy people. Yeah. And, I mean, the guy had an island. An island. Like, who has an yeah. island? What are I we think, talking about here? Do you know the, the bit that I'm doing on stage now about that, that, like, you know, people saw Clinton there and like, oh, we're fine. Clinton's That's here. such a great point. Yeah. I was laughing hard at that <laughs> line because it's so true. Yeah, it gives, like, it gives this the feeling of, like, oh, like, our our former national daddy figure is here. So, yes. like, it's, it's everything's okay. One of the things that people will do to try to get me to come to a thing is they'll tell me, hey, this guy's going to be there. That guy's going to be there. Like, they'll send me an email. Hey, Joe, are you interested in coming to our r event, our thing, our retreat, or whatever? And blah, blah, blah is going to be there and from this band and that comic and this thing. And it's like, you you go, oh, well, that famous person's going to be there. I can be there, too. Right, that's so how they, they try to get you. So talk one person into doing it that's prominent and recognized, and then you're like, oh, well, I will be uh, in good company if I go there. Yeah. You know, and that's I think that's what they did. Yeah. You know, uh, I've seen some pretty convincing stuff that Jeffrey Epstein was actually Mossad, Israeli yeah, intelligence. It. I've seen that, too. Yeah. There yeah. was an article. I forget where it was. It may have been Daily Mail, which is a questionable source. But they were talking about how Jeffrey Epstein uh, was meeting with like a former Israeli prime minister. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, he also was meeting with U.S. presidents, too, of course. But I think there's there's some reason to believe that this guy because yet if you have dirt on everybody. Why do you have dirt on everybody? It's just what exactly is going the on here. The craziest thing that they murdered that guy in jail. It's just like sweep, sweep. Yeah. That's all done. And by let's, the way, let's concentrate on Ukraine now. <laughs> yeah, nobody actually believes he killed himself. I haven't no. met anybody left wing, no. left wing, right wing, center, apolitical. Everybody's like, eh, that's, that's kind of sketchy. Yeah, I've met some people that believe it, but they have a reason to believe it. It's like they have this like vested interest in, in wanting to believe yeah, it. Yeah, the, skept the skeptics. Yeah, not, not, not even necessarily skeptics. It's like maybe they have some weird connection to it mm. that they don't want you to know about. They want to make it look like it's not that big mm. a deal. And they got them. The, one of the most eerie ones was when Bill Gates is being questioned about it. Uh, you know, yeah, he's dead now. It? Yeah, he said he's, he's dead, dead now. now so, uh, so you have to be careful. What the fuck does that mean? Fuck does that mean? Jesus Christ. He's dead now. So I guess you have to be careful. Like what? Um, and G Ghislaine Maxwell came out recently and said, I don't think he killed himself. He didn't. Yeah. Michael Baden, that famous autopsy doctor, the, the, the guy who was from that, the show Autopsy, who is, he said that out of thousands of cases of people hanging themselves, that he's personally investigated. He has never seen anybody with those injuries. That's right. And that those yeah. injuries were of a person who was strangled. Yes. And that the broken bones in his neck were indicate of a ligature strangulation. The area where he was strangled was below, low on the neck, which is not... Not where you get when someone's hanging by their own weight, which is higher on the neck because your body weight right, is yeah. dragging it down. He's like, that was someone who got strangled. And the security cameras were magically not working. Yeah. <laughs> right? Magically not the working. Guard, the guards were somewhere sleeping or something. And yeah. there was that, wasn't it like some former cop, like Juice Head, yes. who they think did it? Well, there was a former cop who was a giant dude yeah. who was his cellmate who uh, I think he murdered people. I think that's what he went to jail for. What did that cop? The cop, cop was fucking jacked, too. Yeah, he was. And he's, he's still getting the sauce in there and <laughs> behind bars. I, I don't know if he was still jacked in jail. Did oh, was it an old picture in the article I, I read? I think it was. Okay. 
Gotcha. But he was a corrupt cop. And if you're a corrupt cop and you're involved in drug dealing and this and that, you probably murdered a few people. You know, and if yeah, they what they offer him, they give maybe they gave him juice. <laughs> they say, listen, buddy, I know you're yeah, getting them on the cheap if that's all they gave him. <laughs> he could ask, look yeah, this guy. guy, this guy. Look at the size look of this. that motherfucker. Jesus Christ. They contend Tartaglione that. Tartaglione proof- over here. I don't know what the article is about. Tartaglione <laughs> tried to help Epstein would have been powerful mitigation in the penalty phase if he was found guilty of any death eligible charges. What, so what does it say? The disappearance video uh, footage of the financier and sex trafficker Jeffrey Epstein's first suicide attempt should mean that his cellmate, ex-Westchester cop Nicholas Tartaglioni... That's where I'm from, by the way, Westchester. ...doesn't face the death penalty in a drug-related quadruple homicide. Wow. So that could be... Look, if I was going to have somebody kill somebody, I'd have that. Oh, absolutely. You're going to have somebody strangle somebody? How easy could he do it? Oh, yeah. No. What size of that motherfucker? Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. So maybe that's what they did. Maybe they offered him a plea, or maybe they offered somebody else a plea. But, you know, the evidence that nobody did anything was like, well, no one new entered into the cell block. That's what they said. We, didn't, we don't have the cameras, but we're reasonably sure that no one entered into when the cell block. When I was looking block. this up, this popped up, too, which said somebody else was his last cellmate. That guy was maybe oh. was a cellmate of his. Jesus. So he died from COVID-19, this they're saying? They're saying his former cellmate died of COVID-19. That's well, what they're that saying. Guy? That's, I don't know. I'm just saying it's the first time I've ever seen Prison it. PrisonLegalNews.org. Mm. <laughs> but, he died sure in a, but he was released, though. It says he died in his mother's apartment in the Bronx from COVID-19 that he con- contact, uh, contracted while in the Queens, New York Correctional Center. Maybe. Prior to his stay at the Queens, lockup Reyes was housed at the Manhattan Correctional Center where he was Jeffrey Epstein's last cellmate. Yeah, but that doesn't mean anything. They, they could be looking for something there. He could have actually just died from COVID. No, that's because he what was I'm, released. That's not what I'm saying here. My point of bringing this up was when I Google Jeffrey Epstein's last cellmate, this guy popped up, not the other. Oh, not guy. the juice head guy. Oh, but the juice guy got was his cellmate at one. Yeah, point that in was time? in all the articles that I read at the time of his death. Brought up that former cop. There's so many levels to this conspiracy yeah. mystery. But again, all this stuff we're talking about. Yeah. Totally reputable so- sources yeah. that went that showed you everything, and you can connect those dots and be reasonable. But again, you just don't have to go to the QAnon level. Exactly. Yeah. And the, and the real conspiracies are fucking wild enough. 